the Chronicle to our voice AMA with Meerkat, Mad Meerkat. And um, I'm your host today, Crypto Girlfriend. And today I want to introduce some very special guests um from mad meerkat why don't you guys go ahead and introduce yourselves all right hey guys uh i'm sequence one of the co-founders of the mad meerkats and this is also canvas who is my other co-founder canvas would you like to continue for a bit yeah we are we are very happy to be to be here um we are launching i mean for, for those of you who don't know we are launching the mad meerkats on Crow, and we found this community the perfect place for us to host an AMA to tell you guys what we are doing, just to get you guys excited. Well, welcome. We are excited to have you here, and I know this is one of our first. Uh, I think we did one other voice AMA in here so far, so this is our. You guys are new. The the chain is new. The Chronos chain is new, but. <laughs> I understand you aren't new though. I think you've been around for quite some time on maybe another chain. Oh, yes, we are. Uh, we've actually, I mean, the, the project kind of actually started as, as long as five to six months ago with the art conceptualization. We launched our Ethereum Mad Meerkats uh, a month to a month and a half ago. And we found this excellent opportunity where there was a need, like, like, like you said, a new, a new chain here, Crow. People are friendly, things are just getting started, and we, we just can't wait to be part of the party. That's why we're here. Yeah, and I know NFTs are pretty big with um, you know Crypto.com's chain. They actually started their own marketplace before they even had the Kronos chain. So <laughs> it was interesting. Day one, I was sitting there buying a bunch of NFTs for various projects the first day that Chronos launched. So I think we're going to see a lot of uh, NFT growth. And I think it does make sense as you guys came over to Chronos. Yeah, for sure. Why don't you tell us um, a little bit about exactly what Mad Meerkat is? Maybe they're, how you guys came up with the name or yep. how the project so came to be. <laughs> Mm, for sure. So that so like uh, Canvas initially introduced, we started on Ethereum, right? And I think when we were on Ethereum, our main focus is actually about like purely art. And one thing that we realized during our our journey in, in um, Ethereum is that the the meta of NFTs they change really quickly, right? I think for those of you who are familiar with NFTs, uh, we all know that you know at one at one point it's all the pixels. At one point, it's all the wolf game, sheep game type of meta. Uh, at one point, it's also about the art, right? So I think for us, um, we wanted it to be purely art. But something that we noticed, like the commonality between long-term good projects is this whole idea where you combine um, art and utility, you know? So that's also one of the other main reasons why we wanted to move to Kronos, because we realized that um, Kronos has like so much potential, right? Um, in just replicating what uh, Ethereum has to begin with. And apart from the replication, we also see a lot of potential where Kronos, the Kronos chain can just do and create a lot of other utility projects. And I think just when we were thinking about expanding and also trying to figure out um, the next chain to expand to, we were quite blessed, I must say, that um, I think because usually our team, we get together on Friday nights for uh, a work meeting. This is the this is the period where, you know, because now the current trend is that everyone's working from home, right? But on Friday nights, we we tend to like have a work session all together, a physical session. Um, we do like three hours locked in, hardcore work before heading out for drinks, right? Because we're all like a bunch <laughs> of childhood things, and you know that's what Friday nights are supposed to be spent on, you know, COVID or not. Um, yeah, so I think there was this one Friday a few a couple of months back that we were really lucky because. Um, we were quite zoned in at that point of time and none of us really didn't really want to go out because we we're just tired and stuff. And then um, thankfully someone was mad enough to make that push, right? And like, guys, get out, right? We've been doing too much work. Get out, get out, you know? And like all good Fridays go, um, we find ourselves in a stranger's house at some random house party. Um, 
I, I don't even remember the name of the host. Hopefully he, is, he or she isn't here. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I think we were lucky enough to find ourselves chatting to another group of people at this party. And, and by chance, they were also um, just starting out their project, a crypto related project, you know? And then- What are the um, chances? <laughs> exactly, exactly. And what is even more amazing was that they were also planning to launch on Kronos, right? And, and that's when we were like, hey, same, you know? And, and we started sharing about what uh, each of our projects, like what, what the vision is and stuff, right? That was when I shared about what we were trying to do about the Mad Meerkats and the challenges we were facing on Ethereum and, and explaining why we wanted to do this expansion, right? So the main reason why we were focusing on the art it's simply because we feel like um, projects that care more about the art than making money, these are the projects that can actually do a bit better or even bring crypto or NFTs to sort of the long-term vision that um, the NFTs supposedly have, right? The problem we feel like from a, if you take a few steps back, right, and look at the big picture, we feel like the problem with um, the market favoring a lot of all these sort of short-term, very lucrative projects that are like all about the hype and the memes is that we create so much demand from creators to make such projects as well. So we, we feel that, yes, it is in the short term, it's good, but in the long term, it might actually limit the potential of what NFTs are supposed to do. That's why we wanted to create the Meerkats to try and support the artists that were that we feel had the right values, or at least the values aligned to us, which is for the long term and for the betterment of NFTs, you know. So this same vision is uh, extrapolated to Kronos as well, but now we we sort of add value to that with utility because that's what the market wants: utility and art, right? And to do yeah, so, I mean, um, art art yeah, is yeah. is a big thing right now. Um, if it, if it doesn't look good, if it's not good art, I mean, you're already exactly. starting, <laughs> you're already exactly. starting so, in the hole. Hmm. So what we noticed is the art is like the bare minimum now. If the art isn't good, too bad, right? But now after the art is good, it becomes like some sort of a basic expectation. Then they ask, okay, cool, your art's great. What then, then like, what, what can you make? What else? Do? What else? So, oh, so exactly. tell, us, tell us, what is your <laughs> utility then? Yeah, so our utility right now, the most concrete utility right now is that we are going to be, we're going to have exclusive staking utility at uh, AMM that we are partnering up with. The AMM is a, is what it is called, is an automated market maker. They are also launching on Kronos right after us on the 7th of December. So all Meerkats, all Chrome Meerkats will be, will be available for staking on their platform. Um, Every meerkat will, will get you an additional 1% on your daily percentage yield or your yield farming. You can stake up to a maximum of three meerkats to get a maximum of 3% boost to your yields on CrossSwap. Yeah. And I think okay. also- that's on CrossSwap, you said, right? CrossSwap, yeah. You know, like crocodile, Cross short form oh, croc, croc and then swap. swap. Ah, yeah, okay. Croc swap. <laughs> yep. Exactly. Can you guys post so the links to that easy. swap? Is there links yet in the chat by chance? Um, I am not so sure, but we will definitely put the links there, you know, like what, there's no harm in just repeating <laughs> the links there, right? Yeah, so we'll do yeah, that. Yeah, and please, please post reminding. the links to your um, to your sites as well and your socials yeah, sure. so people can check you out while we're chatting. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah, I'm I'm just posting them on on our chat for the rest to have a look while we're having this conversation. Great. Yeah. Now is the seventh of December when Croc Swap is launching, or is that when you guys are pr planning to launch? Seventh of mid? December is Croc Swap. We're launching two days earlier on fifth of December this Sunday. That is when the Mad Meerkats will travel on Kronos. Awesome. So. So you already were on Ethereum, and did you mint all of the Meerkats on Ethereum? Nope. So actually, um, we we did a Medium article um, before we even like began our uh, sort of like um, marketing for the Chrome Mint. Basically, we wanted to start the Chrome Mint afresh on a on a blank slate, right? Because uh, I'm gonna admit it, our Ethereum mints didn't go very well. Uh, we had a supply, we have a cu current supply of 5,000 Ethereum cats. And I think, Canvas, correct me if I'm wrong, but does the number stand right now at about like seven to 800 minted? 
Yeah, about about seven hundred, if I recall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And it isn't a, it isn't a fantastic men's performance, right? And um, I think one of the main reasons is that we realized that yes, even though the focus we would like we we as the creators would like the focus to be about the art, but I think as we as we shared earlier, what the market wants, what the consumer wants is art and something more. They want to make money. They want to do something with their exactly. stuff. Exactly. So if we, we realize that in order for us to achieve our long-term vision for the creators, for the makers, we will have to provide something that the market wants right now. But at the same time, uh, it's also a fine line, right? Between giving everything the market wants and being true to your values, to the mad values of like maker, adventure, and daring. So that's why, that's also the main reason why we refuse to sort of give into the hype of like creating your own utility coin for the sake of just creating the coin, right? Because oh, I know. you have to say, do something, you have to do what, you know, feels right to you, so. Yeah, exactly. So that's why um, we, we didn't want to create a coin for the sake of like marketing purposes. We we'll only create a coin if there, if there is an actual utility for it. And that's why we pursued like this exclusive partnership with the AMM instead, because that's actual utility, right? There's no, there's no smoke, there's no mirrors. It's just that staking utility right there for people. Yeah, I mean, I love those NFTs that you can stake somewhere and earn. I love yield farming. And so yeah. it goes hand in hand it's with so the much staking. Better than of... the interest rates in the local trade fi space. Because then if you're just holding it, because you know, you have it anyways, and you're planning to hold it long term for, you know, whatever mm -hmm. reason you want the value to go up, at least you're getting something while you're holding it. So, you know, it's a good Correct. idea. I think a lot of Correct. people like it. Yeah. And at the same time, I think adding on to that, we honestly want this project to go into the long term because expanding just from, I mean, us going to Crow is just a small step of the roadmap, right? For us, our eventual vision is to create this uh, integrated cross-chain resource platform um, because we are very motivated to um, just hope to be part of the generation that sees crypto like unleash the potential that it really, really has. Um, and we realized that to get there, um, we need to create a space, a communal space for everyone to share the knowledge that they're really good in, right? For example, um, personally for me, uh, the sequence, I actually originated from the Solana chain. I do a lot of Solana NFT minting. I'm, I'm quite familiar on the Sol Solana space, you know, um, for Canvas, he is actually an expert in the NFT space. Uh, on Ethereum. And for the rest of the team, they are very focused on the DeFi part of um, the other chains, like, for example, Binance Smart Chain, and et cetera, right? So in other words, this team is made up of people with very different, like, um, very different knowledge of very uh, specific parts of crypto, you know? And what we, we believe is that when you bring people with the different expertise together and we learn from each other, everyone just becomes a much stronger and better well well versed crypto person you know and just by the merit of us being so early into this space it is by just learning more things can we then together um discover more of the of the potential that's hidden behind web 3.0 together right yeah so that's honestly the grand long-term vision for the meerkats and that's also why we really want to incentivize our meerkats to hold the meerkats for the long term hence the staking utility was a nice touch to it oh definitely and i'm, I'm actually checking out your website right now and it, it kind of looks right. like a like a cartoon almost on your yeah. your background it's really cool i really like the artwork <laughs> we actually told the artist like think of something uh fun think of something casual but think mad you know we want it to be crazy <laughs> yeah <laughs> so that was, uh, that was the artistic direction that we gave uh, our our artist, and uh, I think I think yeah, she she put in a lot of effort to get to where it is today. So, uh, yeah, we're really proud of every single artwork that comes out from the barrow, you know. And the barrow is what the the form of the meerkat is called. Obviously. Yeah, I think I definitely need to get some of these myself when they <laughs> when they come up for sale. Yeah. So, uh, you said the minting happens on Sunday. Um, Yep. How do we Sunday mint and how, what is the price and all of that? Yep. So um, for the public sale, um, it's open to all, of course. Uh, it is going at 299 crore per meerkat. 
uh, we also have a discounted uh, whitelist mint. This is for the communities that we are glad to partner up with. Um, such as, so, such as you guys, such as you guys. Yep, 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 yep. Getting to that, getting to that. <laughs> yeah, such as you guys. Um, we all, and, and I think we have existing partnerships with three or four other communities. And our final bracket, right, um, which is the the first presale, it is the one that is for all Ethereum Meerkat holders simply because they are the OG community. And for us, the OG Meerkats will always uh, be the one to get the most perks simply because they are the ones that supported us right from the very beginning. So for the Ethereum Meerkats, they will get the Chrome Meerkat at 199 Chrome. Wow. Yeah. All right. So can you guys post the whitelist link in our Telegram chat for everyone in our community yeah. to get in on that, including myself? I'm going to jump on that right <laughs> after this. <laughs> yeah, it's not unlimited, so it's on a first come, first serve basis. So I would be quick. I would be quick. <laughs> yeah. so, so you might want to try it. I don't know. The link <laughs> we, we can wait till the end or whenever you want to post it, but. Um, Maybe we can do it like, oh, Canvas dropped it, guys. Canvas dropped it. So it's there. <laughs> it's there. All right. Yeah. Get, get in on the whitelist link. All right. <laughs> You're going to distract me now. I'm trying to ask you questions. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe you guys should so spam, I... uh, spam her with questions right now. So at least you have one <laughs> slot available, one additional slot. <laughs> So um, on your roadmap, it looks like you're going to have merchandise and you're going to have, are you going to have set up a, a store and all of that? It looks like. Mm -hmm. yep. Oh yeah. Let, let, let me touch on that. So I, I assume you are, you are on our website. Yes. Yeah. So th that is our, our most original roadmap. Uh, we have since expanded it to, to more of like a business plan and a white paper, uh, which the information is all in our Discord. So, so for the most updated one, you guys should most definitely join our Discord. Uh, we'll also be updating the website in a bit uh, so you guys can see the most updated information. The, the biggest thing is more like an expansion. So what, what, what cryptography you're seeing on, on our website is uh, a little bit like collectivity. We like people to, to own ownership of their Americas in different forms, in T-shirts, in caps. Uh, and what we are doing right now for the Ethereum chain is for every Ethereum holder, uh, you get a little banner piece also designed by our artists. And we, we have also partnered with a physical wall art uh, partner. So this, this partner is huge. They have their work shown in museums all over the world. So the quality is extremely amazing. Essentially, we just want everyone to to enjoy their meerkats. Uh, and as long as you start the journey with us, you're going to be taken care of along the way. At least that's on the Ethereum side of things. Mm -hmm. and yeah, I, I think uh, commu community. community is like so important. So I think by doing merchandise and getting people to wear the brand and things like that, they're proud of it, you know? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, so, so that's guys, actually yeah. the Ethereum uh, side of things. And so for the Crow side, we'll be exploring a lot more partnerships with the other non-NFT and NFT related projects. Yeah. So that is eventually our roadmap for the Crow side of things. And then we'll look for other chain expansion. Right. But one thing, one thing that we're actually going to be exploring is this thing called the Mad Analysis uh, on, on every every single chain, right? So the MAT analysis actually focuses on the MAT values of our project. What MAT stands for is maker, adventure, and daring, right? So these three values are values that the team believes can help us identify um, project teams, I mean, other project teams that sort of are in it for the long term more than the short term, right? And the rationale here is because um, we all know that crypt crypto in general at this stage of the life cycle um, we're at a stage where there are a lot of pump and dumps. It's just very lucrative to be short term, right? And for us and for you to identify the long term people, it's more about just finding out their rationale and their motivation about why they're doing what they're doing, right? And we believe that these three, these three values can help us identify their motivation, yeah, right? And after, after um, identifying that, we will actually have a team to go and 
have a do a deep dive uh, for the projects that they're doing, find out how it works. Um, and also because such projects tend to be very niche or very specialized, that means that we also need to get the community onto a base level of understanding. So for example, uh, say we do a man analysis on CropSwap, the, the AMM that we are exclusively partnering, um, to even explain how it works would mean that people need to understand how staking works, how DeFi in general works, and all these things will be part of like this educational resource that we're providing for every single meerkat holder, no matter what the chain. Well, what's good about Crow is, you know, the gas fees are a lot less than Ethereum. So I think you'll, yeah. you'll get a lot more people minting on, on Crow than, than on the ETH side. That's for sure. Nice. What, um, so the staking is going to be available on the swap, croc, croc swap. Um, croc swap, yep. <laughs> Two days after the minting. That's exactly that right. right. Yep. And what what do you earn? You earn like their like from the minting from the staking. Is it their token? Like yep. how is that going to so work? So you'll be earning. You guys will be earning crop tokens, which is the tokens that are unique to crop swap. Um, so if, if let's say you guys are worried that the crop token will be uh, like if you guys see the crop token as a shit coin and are worried about <laughs> like the long term. Um, value of the coin, you guys are always free to just swap it into your stables. Stop, swap it into our beloved Crow coin, right? If you're really worried, like earn it and sell it straight away. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, you never know with those farms, right? <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah, so this is a personal strategy of mine. Like, uh, I'll, I'll just farm my use for a day. Every single day before I, I, I uh, close my computer to go to bed, I will just farm it. <laughs> You know, and just refresh it, refresh it, yeah. Not financial advice. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. Thank you so much for my legal ass. <laughs> NFA. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So what else can you guys tell us about um, what's in store for the future after the initial minting and the staking? Mm. What's mm. next? Right. So for now, um, if I'm going to be very honest, we don't have a concrete plan on what is next. But that's not to say that we have no plans. It's just that they are in the form of a multiple choice question, put it that way, right? So <laughs> let, me let me expand a bit. Multiple choice option A. Um, because right now, we are still, I mean, we are or we originated from Ethereum uh, and we are expanding to Crow. We are not switching to Crow. That also means that we have existing partnerships and deals that are being worked out on the Ethereum side of things, even as the mint is going on right now for Crow, you know? So uh, the reason why you guys haven't been hearing much about our Ethereum side of things online, like on socials, is simply because we didn't want to confuse uh, non-Meerkat users, right? Because one thing we realized is that if let's say we were talking about the Ethereum stuff when, when, we, were, when we were marketing that our Crow mint is happening, people will just be so confused, right? Wait, what, you know? So that's why that's on the down low, but everything is still going according to plan over there, right? So we got to make the choice of whether we want to sort of focus our efforts on um, con on building more on the Ethereum side or to just let it keep running first and focus on something else. And option B, right? That's where option B comes in, which is to expand more on Crow. Um, find out more and discover more potential opportunities, opportunities on Crow via the mat analysis. And the rationale is really simple, right? It's because Crow, crypto to Crow is such a, is such a new chain. There's literally no, um, for example, blue chip NFTs that are appearing right now. Of course, mm -hmm. the biggest contender right now are the Lions, uh, but the Crow chains are great as well. And then there's us, right? And I, I'm not saying this according to ranking. So I want the Meerkats to be a new chain. <laughs> we want to be one, right? Um, yeah, but facts are facts. There are blue chip contenders, but there are no blue chips at the moment. It's still an open race. Uh, and that's just NFTs, you know. Um, there's still there's all the AMMs, all the DEX, sex, uh, CXs, and they, there's just so much that crypto.com is going to go through. So we also see there's so much potential here, and we're thinking about whether to continuously expand here on Crow first. Uh, and last but not least, there's also Solana, right? Solana is also extremely popular. And um, we are actually in talks also to partner up with one of the NFT projects there. 
Um, and that was also in the works even before uh, we expanded to Crow. So they so for that project, they understand uh, they understand our rationale, they understand why we expanded to Crow first before Solana, even though we were talking to them, and they fully support they fully support it, and they are happy to keep building what we are building, and then eventually we will work together. But yeah, so we have this these three options, right? So we have as a team uh, right now the team is like expanding 100% of our resources to ensure that the mint is, is smooth. Uh, we don't have the backing of crypto.com in a way that like they're going to create a site for us and like the loaded lions says there's <laughs> nothing, you know, the crypto.com basically set up everything for the loaded lions, right? For us, uh, we're a team, we need to do it on our own. Everything is being built. Our team is, is sort of prioritizing the mint to be as smooth as possible for every single person who crow. Yeah, so that's what the team is very, very busy with. Uh, before we make that decision post mint, yeah. Well, you definitely have the first mover advantage being one of the newer projects on Crow, since everything is new. So hopefully, right. when you see me, I guess the... you're referring to us, the meerkats, right? <laughs> no, I'm just joking. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, so the um, yeah, Solana is probably the second most popular to ETH for NFTs these mm. days, but. Um, mm -hmm. I, I'm more excited, like you said, on some of these other chains for the NFTs that, that doesn't have oversaturation like ETH has, like Crow, exactly. Crow's, Crow's a big one. So I, there's so many more utilities, websites, partnerships. I imagine you're going to be having a lot more partnerships as they come around because you guys want to continue to mm -hmm. partner and make this project long term mm -hmm. yep. yep so is there is there any um you have any other partnership plans in in play right now or in the works besides your croc swap partnership yep so right now I, the answer, go ahead um, sorry can let's go ahead no go, go ahead uh okay maybe just let me start a little teaser then uh the sequence you know talk about the Ethereum side of things. So actually, we other than the, the physical war partner we have, we, we also have a little uh, partnership with Treasure Key. So they're one of the biggest off-chain casinos and uh, our, our Ethereum map markets are going to get a couple of free spins there every, every month uh, or every other month, things like that. On top of that, we, are also, we have also secured two or three uh, up-and-coming artists we saw their works, we think that they are pretty amazing. They, they're going to be part of a little derivative collection. And the Ethereum map market holders are going to have a chance to get some of them for free or for early access. The The point here that uh, I think I mentioned earlier already um, is that, you know, just, just by being a part of us at the start, you're going to be taken care of in, in as many ways that we, that, we, that we can as possible. If we were to expand to Solana, what essentially means is that just by minting the very first Ethereum map market, you're going to get exposure to some of the bigger chains around out there right now, uh, such as Crow and Solana, all for free. And I think um, that's, that's, the, that's the main idea that we're going to drive across, uh, a little integrated resource, um, something that, that ensures the community grows together with us. Yeah, That's fantastic. On the crow side of things, um, right now actually we are leveraging on our utility with CropSwap, right? To sort of form our track record as this um, knowledge pass across the chains, you know? So when, let's say, I mean, we want to use the mints as sort of like a performance indicator about the confidence of the community in us. And I guess for us, our next partnership that we're gunning for, it's a big one, but it's no surprise to anybody, it's actually crypto.com, right? You want to explore yeah. how an independent NFT project how can, can work you with crypto.com. <laughs> yeah, so um, that, that's the thing, which is why like we are, we are seriously gunning for a sell-out mint um, on Sunday. It's a, to us, I think, we honestly, right now, we feel like the team has done so much to, I mean, we, we've, done, we've done the art, we have provided the utility, we have also done the marketing. Um, I think, our, I, I mean, well, Canvas and I are the ones doing the marketing and maybe we can't judge our own work, but I believe that we are doing quite a good job. We have a few more 
surprises coming along the way uh, in these two days up, coming up uh, leading up to the mint. And yeah, so we feel like all the checkboxes required for a good mint is there. We also have community support across Crow. Um, but we all know, right, for like for as far as NFT goes, NFTs go, no one can ever really know how the mints will proceed until the mints happens. But we are aiming to do like a sellout mints as fast as possible and, and you know, be that first project that can say that we minted a 10,000 supply meerkat done in X amount of time. Yeah, just as a track record. And then also to build up the track record to show like all meerkat satisfaction from that partnership with CropSwap, you know, and we hope that uh, crypto.com can see that um, our team is extremely serious and we would like to see where an independent NFT project can partner up with an established uh, CEX company and see where it goes. Yeah. Yeah, that would be very interesting because you guys could be one of the first to do that. So looking exactly. forward to your success. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> And so is there anything else you want to share with us before we get into some of the user questions in the chat room and I open up the chat? Mm, how about we answer those questions first, you know, and then we can end off with some like cute insights or some stuff like that, you know? <laughs> yeah, and I want you to continue to post all your socials so people can keep an eye <laughs> on you, especially these next few days as it gets approaches Definitely. your minting date. Yeah. I filled out the form, by the way, while we were on. Wow. Oh, I guess we, we're not, we're not, we're not <laughs> so I, I want some mad meerkats myself. <laughs> I'm all about <laughs> NFTs these days. That's all I buy now. <laughs> Thank you for your support. Thank you for your support. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so, let's, let's um, those questions from the So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to also type in the chat as well um, so they can see it. But I'm going to unmute the chat on slow mode. And please go ahead and ask your question for an opportunity to win one of five Mad Meerkat NFTs. And once the NFTs come out, the Mad Meerkat team will send those out directly to the winners. And then I will mute the chat again after a few minutes. And at that time, Mad Meerkat will select five questions to answer. And those will be the winners of the prizes. Now, one more caveat to make sure your, your question is considered. I want you to go ahead and put a cat emoji. I don't think there's a meerkat one, but if there is, you could put a meerkat emoji, <laughs> but add a cat emoji to your question in order for your question to count. So I'm going to also just post all of that that I just said in the chat. <laughs> and then I'm going to open Open it up for questions. So uh, very nice, very nice. I like how good go. questions are rewarded. <laughs> all right, let's do. All right, go ahead and post your questions. Here we go. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Six, seven people are typing. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> and now we can. Uh, and when by names. <laughs> so well, while we're talking, on... while, while we're mm -hmm. waiting, I imagine there's a bunch of different rarities and that you've come up with. Is there any of your favorite rarities? Oh, yeah. Uh, Nicholas, should we talk about the earrings? <laughs> mm, why not you talk about the earrings? Because I'm sorry, my attention is just driven towards the but questions because I see some really good ones already. However, okay, I okay. would like to remind everyone to have the cat emoji, right? Because if there's no cat emoji, we can't count them. I see some good yeah. questions I want to put, yeah, but there are no edit, cat emojis. And edit your question. <laughs> if you've already put it in, you could edit it and put the cat in. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> okay. Go ahead, Ken. Let's go ahead. While, while the rest are, are asking away, uh, I, I think one of the key things I want to highlight about the Chrome map, cats, is we have this nice little earring 
that uh for those of you who, who have the, the the card it actually corresponds exactly to the colors of the credit card here let me just oh really <laughs> yeah and and the rarity themselves are also according to the credit card so oh, for, for those of you rich, those of you rich ones out there who 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 have the obsidian card um basically the, the same color is, is, is the rarest uh earring mm. for our collection i have the the blue one which one is that i think the one you just posted in the picture that's that's also mine the, the more the more common one but uh it's still equally nice nonetheless <laughs> <laughs> yeah this is one of the i, I guess I, I mean we we find it quite cute but obviously we are a little bit biased but we find it quite cute uh so it's a little addition to to, to our mad meerkats yeah sometimes it's the little things that people really notice yeah, yeah. I mean, that's exactly what we are, what we are hoping for. Well, we're getting a lot of good questions, so I'll I'll leave it open for a few minutes, and then I'll close it up. And you can ask more than one question too, if you want. It's totally fine. <laughs> Just make sure to add the cat emoji. <laughs> Put the cat meow. <laughs> yeah. Wow, Candace, I think we truly got the attention of the community. As I'm reading, I see like the message number just keep going up. Yeah. Should, should we, I see like, I think that it's, it's, it's at 38 right now and I'm still reading. <laughs> okay, okay. I I'll know. I mean, oh, even, yeah. even since Kronos launched, I mean, I am just amazed with how much even our telegram has blown up since awesome, since the awesome. launch no, so I'm, I'm happy don't get me wrong I ha i'm happy with all these questions right because it just means that you know people are curious and i guess now it's our our job to like deliver and try and answer as many questions as we can so why not we do this since there since there's me the sequence and canvas here there's two of us five is an odd number we can't share a question <laughs> How about we each answer uh, three questions, right, Canvas? Ooh, you get an extra gift, right? <laughs> yeah. Yep. That's and, better. And, and it's better that way, right? So, yeah, maybe we'll do it such that, like, um, Canvas will choose one, and then I'll choose one, and we'll play a bit <laughs> of ping pong, and then Canvas go, I go, Canvas go, I go, you know? Yeah, yeah. All right. All cool with that? Um, I think I'll go ahead and... Uh, Maybe mute. You think we have we have enough questions, right? Yeah. There's enough. Canvas, did you have time to look at some of the questions? Oh yes. I, I saw some of the interesting ones, such as uh how many people here have the obsidian black card? I don't know, man. None of my friends have it. But no, sorry, sorry. Just a, <laughs> how, just a card how are you even gonna know that? I mean, maybe ask crypto.com <laughs> that question. <laughs> 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 okay, I muted the chat again. Um, so go ahead and read through the questions. Take your time. And like you said, uh, each of you can have the opportunity to answer three. So that would be six. So everyone got an extra prize out of this. Awesome. <laughs> wow, there's really a lot. OK. Uh, I can go first, actually. If, yeah. If, yeah. You know, then you can. Yeah, because I want to and tackle. Let, I and saw let me know. Let me know, or maybe really? uh, forward it or something. Who it is, so we can get their okay. prize to okay. them. So to give, I guess to give uh, Canvas a little more time to go through like the fifty odd questions here. I'll choose <laughs> a long question, right? Because I mean, I'm not a fan of long questions. But this is a very good question. Uh, so what what do I do again, uh, crypto girl girlfriend? Should I forward the message mm -hmm. or? Yeah, why don't you forward the message to just the chat so I have it front and center so we know who's your right. answering. Okay, and so if I forward this question, this uh, asker will get the meerkat, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. So introducing our first winner out of the six. Oh wait, that means we're giving an additional meerkat. Yes, right. you yeah. are. <laughs> we got another meerkat right. out of you. <laughs> okay, okay. So I'll just take it from mine. Just take it from mine. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, okay. So the, our first winner goes to Benny. Congrats, Benny. Wow, yeah, this so is that, really long. that is the longest question I have ever seen. <laughs> but it is a really good question. Okay. 
So let me just find the direct question, right? Um, so you guys said, dun, dun, dun. okay. So you guys said that OG Meerkat holders will be having benefits for this drop on Kronos, whitelist, better mint price, airdrops, but also in the future, will you guys stay on Ethereum and Kronos or will you also extend to other chains in the future as well? Okay, so I think I alluded a bit to this answer already because um, just now I mentioned that three multiple choice answer, right? But maybe let me expand a bit and share about like the thought process behind this, okay? So the strategic play here is to let communities in general across the chain understand that we are about art and utility, right? So apart from just saying that we are about art and utility, we needed to provide the art, which we believe we have already done so through the meerkats, right? Um, to give you guys an example, um, if you look at the features of the meerkat, it's really hard to just, you know, throw on some other new accessories on it, right? So the artist actually put in a lot of time to create with the, create the very intricate details on all the accessories and, and the meerkats themselves, you know? So we believe the art side of things, uh, we got that down. Utility-wise, CropSwap will be our first uh, testament to what uh, like a partnership utility can become. You know, and from there, this will then form our track record and we will pitch to um, other projects across the chains. Um, why do I say across the chains? It's simply because uh, this team, we have our various expertise and contacts on each chain. You know, maybe not Kronos because Kronos is totally... Actually, that's really strange. We went to expand, we, we expanded into a chain where none of us are the experts. Canvas, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah, we know why. But the point is, um, the rest of the team, we are all experts in the various other chains like um, Ethereum, Solana, BS, uh, Binance Smart Chain. So that's so so we're we're quite we're quite how do I put this? Um, we are confident that we can expand into those other chains simply because we we see all this mismatch of information that we can totally share, you know, and uh, yeah, and and this I think someone else asked this question earlier, like how would the sharing be 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 uh, yeah, like how would the analysis be or something like that? So I guess I'm answering a lot of questions in this one question, but it's okay. Um, so the meta analysis, um, yes. So I think this I would I would need everyone to sort of understand, right? That nothing is perfect at the very beginning. You know, an NFT project is nothing unlike a startup. You know, um, this team we are a small team of five, um, and all five of us actually have day jobs. You know. And we are all doing this simply because we we just love crypto, you know, and we want crypto to become what it is, which is something that I've emphasized a lot during this whole AMA. And um, um, we we will we in a way like the meta analysis at the very beginning will will be somewhat like an MVP startup, you know, like a minimum viable product. It will be scrappy. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. What you are potentially going to be looking at is an article. But the article will, of course, uh, be done with a lot of research done by people that have the expertise to do so. However, going forward, what we envision this um, meta analysis to become is actually a communal effort, right? So we have our experts on our team. We also see that already we really see a few individuals on the Ethereum side of things sharing very well detailed analysis uh, on projects that he or she believes in. You know, so we also want to collaborate with our own community members and create like an education resource that is more of a higher production. So you can think of like podcasts, you can think of videos that are just exclusive to the Meerkats. Um, podcasts here, because I think it's, it's super effective if we can interview such projects that we feature, you know, like interview and just have a chat with the founders, find out why they're doing what they're doing, how did they even come up with this idea, um, how are the team dy dynamics? Is this long term, short term? You know, things like that. And and it's we feel that it's really important to just have have these type of like in person sharings because that's exactly what Canvas and I are doing right now, right? Whatever I'm talking, whatever whatever I'm saying, whatever Canvas is saying, you guys will never hear or see any of that on Twitter or even on Discord. You know, but just by listening, it's, it's just so much more impact because it's more real this way. Yeah, so that is going forward the plan for the meta analysis. Um, dun, dun, dun. Okay, um, 
Benny, you know what? Maybe I'll just uh, private message you the rest of the parts of your question. If not, <laughs> uh, we'll never end. And you know, there are five other okay, questions. Okay. But good job on the ben, question. Benny yeah. can just take all five your cats, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's, they're going to like guy. one of my questions. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, canvas on you. I gotta find my Your other turn. question. All the right. Next, <laughs> the next okay. winner is. Drum roll. We're gonna have. Uh, okay, I can't pronounce this. Uh, user, but congrats. Um, DS eighty six. DS eighty six. Uh, let me begin. The the. I think I wanted to answer this question because um, I was one of the lucky ones to have started NFT earlier this year. Not gonna lie, uh, like, like what the sequence has said, the, the, the game is changing, the game has changed and is continuing to change very quickly. I would say I, I was pretty lucky to, to get to know people who introduced me to the space and I, every day I'm thankful for, for, for that. The, do I think that more real world use cases will emerge for NFT as time go on? Yes. Uh, but I think the, the first question I should answer is the one after that is why should we take NFT seriously? It's uh it's easy to, to look at it now with all the articles and all the big companies coming in and see it as like jumping on a bandwagon. But if you if you look at it at its core, there's a, a few key benefits of NFTs that's uh that's pertinent in the world today and has been around for many years. So number one, uh, the one that most people talk about, I'll just use econ economic utility as, as a generic description, like how the, and, and this is the biggest factor actually, people are always talking on TikTok, uh, everywhere, Instagram, about how they made money in the, in the past, like I don't know, minutes. And, and this forms a lot of economic utility for people. And this is one key reason why people come in. but. If, if everything's about money, then then you're basically a little bit like a multi-level marketing pyramid scheme, right? So there are other benefits to it. Uh, and this is where the social aspect come in. The the biggest being the one that uh, Sequence and I resonate with the most is the community. I think in the past half a year, I've met so many people all over the world and heard so many stories more than I've done in, I don't know, maybe in the past five to seven years. And, and this is only possible because Everyone in this space is interested in the same thing. And to me, um, just, just for those of you who, who don't know, I, I, I'm lucky enough to, to hold a board it. But I think the, the value, the social value, the community value that I'm getting is something that is worth much more than the NFT itself. And it's safe to say that I, I don't know, I, I don't even look at the prices, not, not, not because they're, they're high, but because I, I, don't, I don't think I might even sell them in the next couple of years simply because the, the, the opportunities they bring me is uh, just too much. And another reason is because it's simply an easy way to, for people to flex. Uh, a lot of money made in this scene is made from people who invested in crypto maybe even five years ago. You put a dollar in, now you're probably like a millionaire. So you, you, you keep saying a lot of NFTs going for like millions, but in all honesty, the actual amount that these people came up with uh, is probably much lesser. Not, not trying to discredit them, they had a lot of conviction, they put in money when everyone was scared. But what I'm saying here is uh, these people are rich and a lot of them are finding ways to flex. And in the digital space, you can't hold a, you, you can't hold a Rolex. And, I mean, you can, you can take a picture of a Rolex, you know, upload on Instagram, but it's, it's just kind of odd. And people have been dying for an avenue to, to show off their wealth. And so these three um, main reasons, for at least for, at least for myself, and seeing how things have come, uh, the real beginning catalyst for how NFTs uh, have come to where they are today. But moving forward, this 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 uh, benefits would be that there are bigger benefits such as gaming, uh, blockchain games, metaverse. These are big plays that's coming up. Uh, I'm sure many of you always compare metaverse to Ready Player One, and I I think to some extent it could be true. They're going to be people who love the online space, the virtual space, much more than the physical world. It's going to be where people are heading towards. And I, I, do I think that there are more real world cases? Yes, but even as it is now, I'm already seeing these NFTs becoming part of people's real world use cases. 
uh, just 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 look at Instagram, something that people use as a social app. People are changing their profile pictures to all these NFT, something that isn't even themselves. Uh, and to me, these are real cases because they are trying to send a social signal more than anything else. The last thing here is what advantage will you have in the future in this field? I, I think the sequence summed this up uh, very nicely. We are a startup. Uh, we can't control what happens, but what we know is we have to be the first in the space or the first few in the space. And as long as we continually make an attempt to be the first in the space, I'm pretty sure we'll make it one day. And I'm pretty sure our community, we're going to bring them along with us and we'll make it big together one day. That's it. Yeah, work hard and, you know, keep at it and you will definitely be a success in the space. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Just just like any other company, honestly. Wait, I, I thought after work hard, it's play hard, not not work harder. <laughs> <laughs> and drinks on Friday. <laughs> but does it even feel like work? I mean, come on. Yeah, actually, <laughs> you, you have a very good point there because um, like I mentioned earlier, all of us are doing nine to fives, right? But this is somewhat, it's a strange like work play thing. It, it's like, I think Canvas and I are working our butts off, but 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 we, we we love it. it. It's a bit of a bit of a fun torture, I think. It's a bit strange. <laughs> but yes, yes. Okay. Thanks. All right, who's next? Next next question. I guess the ping pong ball is back in my court. Um, um I saw a question, but yes, yes, I see it. I see it. Um so our third winner is drum roll. John Barnes. Congrats, John. Happy to have you in the borough. Okay, so the question is, um, on moving forward through your roadmap, what are your most important priorities? Does the MadCat team have enough fundamental funds, community, etc., to achieve those, right? Okay, once again, this I think this is a super good question. It is three lines long, and yet it's asking so many core things, right? Packing the punches. Um, most important next priorities, right? Um, like I mentioned earlier, we actually have a lot of options ahead of us. But the one most important key priority that we're going to do is actually to do this cross-sharing of education. That is the exact, like, it's the exact most important thing that we want to create in the future across all the chains, right? So right now we have an Ethereum community. We are welcoming the Crow community. And, I, and so our very first objective is to have any form of knowledge sharing between the Ethereum and Crow chain, right? So the direction that we are going to take, or, or at least the direction that, that is next, which we discuss among the team, um, which um, we already sort of like, it's more or less, conf it's more or less, more or less confirmed, but not 100% yet, simply because we were focusing on the mint. Um, it's actually this idea of like sharing um, NFT life cycles, right? So Ethereum, as we all know, that's where NFTs originated from, right? Um, I, I I think I was quite late to the NFT party for Ethereum, but I was quite early for Solana. And what I noticed is that it always fo follows a pattern, you know, like in terms of uh, the consumers that are buying the NFTs, as time goes by, uh, you will see how the consumer sentiment or maturity will also change, like and likewise the meta, right? Um, being on Solana right now, I see that we are always just a few steps behind Ethereum. And something that we realized that, that if only I knew of, of what happened on Ethereum and saw the clues on Solana, I could have prepped myself a lot better and positioned myself so much better for the Solana minting. And also just like predict um, the future trends for any chain, right? And I think I felt the team felt even strongly, even uh, stronger about this when we saw what happened with the Loaded Lions, right? Um, we have been sitting in in the Loaded Lions Twitter spaces. We have been in the chimps as well. We have been in every single community right now. Um, what we see is that, what we see is, is a lot of interest in NFTs. Even from your questions right now, there are a lot of interest in NFTs and that's great, right? But what we are really worried is just like, the, the way everyone is analyzing the NFTs, it feels like it feels like there are there's lots of room for improvement, and of course that's all, that's completely fine, right? But just it, it's it's worrying because everyone has struck gold on the first try, you know, and and that kind of like 
ascertains people like, ah, oh, I, I got this shit covered. I know what I'm doing. But question is, do you really? You know, because from everything that we have seen across the chains, <laughs> it's a wild circus, you know. So that is the first um, type of knowledge sharing that we want to achieve across the Ethereum and Kronos chain. Yeah. So I guess that is the first part of your question. Does the Mad Cat team have enough fundamental, right? Fundamental aspects to achieve these, these goals. Um, in terms of knowledge and expertise, I believe we do. Like I mentioned earlier, um, our team, we come from very diverse backgrounds, Ethereum, Solana, and Binance, Smart Chain. Kronos is very new, but Kronos is new to everyone, you know, so uh, we're what? not that worried for that. So, sorry, did someone say something? What? Alright, that's pretty. <laughs> I'm gonna okay. mute that person. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, crypto girlfriend. Um, yes, and then for funds, that is why it is so important for our mints to be a successful one as well, because that that mints will form. Um, it's like the first, the first um round of liquidity mm -hmm. and startup raising money. Yeah, and that okay. that will fund the project going forward. So yes, I hope that answers your question, John. <laughs> All right. Now, who do we have next? The next lucky winner. All right. Our next ready chosen one. Excited to share my, uh, our perspective for this. The next winner is Jack Downey. Congrats, uh, Jack. Uh, great question. Let me just repeat again. NFT is the mainstream of the current market economy. Will Matt Rickett focus on development big long term or is it a trend that needs to be joined to avoid falling behind? The the right answer and, and the answer that um, we, we're going to give is yes and no. Okay. Uh, yes, in the sense that is it a trend that needs to be joined? Uh, both from the perspective that of all the benefits that I mentioned earlier, and also we find this the best opportunity that we should take advantage of. We're, we're not going to lie. I think we've spent enough time in the past hours saying how there's a lot of pump and dump projects. There's a lot of um, hype and overhype about NFTs. But the, the, the consequence of that is that this is the right opportunity to capitalize on for us to build a great community from scratch. So it is, uh, just, just to share a little bit, I've, I've been in crypto for since about 2017. But I mean, of course, in, in small bits and pieces, but nothing really resonated with me till NFTs. And this is why after a year, um, we are jumping on board. So is this a trend that needs to be joined? Yes. Are there going to be even bigger trends in the future? Probably also yes. And we, what what the Mad Mad Cat is going to be doing is ensuring that we're always on top of the game. If there's something else that we think is worth, we're definitely going to be there, uh, jumping on the latest trends that make sense and making the project grow. So we're in it for the long term. We're also in it with the trends. And I think this is the way forward. Congrats, Jack. All right. By the way, I'm messaging all the winners, so you can send me over your Kronos chain address. Oh, for please, the do, please do, please do, please mm do. -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Sequence. So, my turn, right? Is is this the last question for me? Yes, sir. it is. Right. Okay. Yep. We've got four, uh, so one more for each of you. Yes, yes. Okay, okay. So I'm going to choose this question. It's from Chris. What is the utility of the Ethereum Meerkats? Can we use them on the Crow chain? Right. Um, I think Chris got really lucky with this one. Reason why is because um, there are a lot of um, somewhat utility and supply questions I, I've seen uh, in, the, in this stream of questions. And I want to address them all. But I needed a question that is general enough for me to cover all of it. In a way, you can see this as like a like six question in one type of thing for this question. So I guess, Chris, you're lucky that you chose something super general. <laughs> Congrats. You have a meerkat now. Okay. Um, okay. So utility-wise, right? The thing is, for the Ethereum meerkat, they, uh, they represent the OG and, and original like members of this whole project. Without them, without the Ethereum group, we, can, we could have never expanded the crow. 
So the main utility for the Ethereum Meerkats is that they are going to get like the most juiced up perks and of the partnerships or the future utility that we're going to get, you know. So in a way, if you want me to answer this question flat out, there is no actual utility for the Ethereum Meerkat on the crow chain. However, every single Ethereum Meerkat, the OG ones who minted and held their cat, all of them would have been airdropped a crow cat. So in other words, every Ethereum Meerkat would have their crow meerkat counterpart, which can then be used for staking. We have also taken into account that there were other people that, you know, they maybe maybe they missed out on the mint or they, they managed to get or snipe a good deal off OpenSea. These are also people who are supporting our project, right? And so this is why we have created that pre-sale round, which is 199 crow. That is much, much more discounted simply because they represent um, our original support for the project, right? I think someone also asked uh, a hit. I, I, I'm sorry, I, I don't have your exact name, um, but I think the question was something like, wouldn't there be a dilution of value? Because if, let's say there are 5,000 cats on Ethereum, and then there's 10,000 cats here, maybe tomorrow there's 20,000 cats on Binance Smart Chain, and soon there'll be just too many cats in the whole of crypto, right? First of all, uh, the value doesn't dilute. Reason why is because for the Ethereum side of things, the plan that's been confirmed is the Ethereum Mint will close once the Crow Mint starts. So in other words, by Sunday, 5th of December, when our Crow Mint begins, this is this is where uh, our Genesis community will end, right? There will always only be that number of uh, Ethereum cats in going around in the supply, whatever that number may be, right? And we're not worried about that. We do not, I mean, you can tell from our marketing, we are not prioritizing the Ethereum mints at all because it doesn't really matter to us for the Ethereum side of things to like sell out. What we really want is for that original community, our most like hardcore fan base to be exclusive. If that means that there's only going to be less than a thousand of them in the whole history of Ethereum, so be it, right? It just benefits all holders of Ethereum, of the Ethereum Meerkat, simply because if we manage to achieve what we, what we set out to do, those Meerkats, is so, there's so little of them right? And the norms in, on Ethereum is that everything is in 10k supply. Now we have less than a thousand of you, you know? So we're not worried about that. Um, and going forward, every, yeah, like I mentioned, every single um, Ethereum cat will get the best benefits. And I and for us, I think for Ethereum and Crow at least, this will be the final additions of um, the Meerkats. Going forward, whenever we release collections, they will all be sort of part of the ecosystem. So in a way, you can always see it as like, okay, Ethereum Meerkat, you guys are the most OG, followed by um, the second most OG, which is the Crow Cats. And then the, the perks just get less and less and less as we continue on and on and on, right? Yeah, that is the whole idea behind it. And do not worry, we, the, we our artist is extremely talented. <laughs> the team is also very smart. We won't just stick to mere, like merely Meerkats. Do not worry. There are a lot of other animals in the whole jungle uh, the meerkats themselves have to breed as well, perhaps. Uh, there's, a lot, there's many, many other different types of collections that will be related to the meerkats that we will, we will make. Um, I have no concrete details to share with you, but what I can confirm mm. is that, you know, we will expand on our meerkat universe. So do not worry about that. Also, do not worry about the dilution of value because there will be no dilution of value. Yep. Thank you. Awesome. That'll be kind of cool. It's kind of like the exclusive. Yeah, OGs. so that's why we also <laughs> wanted to turn the crow because it just fit. Everything fits, you know. It's like, yeah, God's God's plan. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, canvas on you. Last one, right? Oh yeah, I'm 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 feeling the pressure of trying to choose a good question to answer. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're, 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 all, they're all really good, honestly. Um, just going to choose this one because it's, it, it fits nicely. Hold on a second. And big congrats to Sean. All right. Uh, e e easy question, but I think it, it leads to something bigger. Any upcoming collaboration with Kronos Chim and any celebrities in mind? Uh, yes, we do. Yes, we do. I mean, I mean, in the in the sense of the second question, for for collaboration with Kronos Chim, uh, honestly, what what the team is doing is we we acknowledge all the 
the people who are early in the space, people who are even earlier than us, and we, we just find it fitting to to extend a, a warm welcome to them, to uh, which is which is why we talk about that whitelist partnership that's also extended to you guys. So just uh, in case you've missed out that link, please go ahead and fill it up. Uh, essentially, we just want to give you guys a, 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 an even cheaper entry point to the Mad Meerkat family. We we love to have you guys uh, and for the Kronos stream, um, we are in discussions, but nothing is firmed up yet. We will update you guys accordingly. Any celebrities in mind? Okay, this is a very, um, it's an extremely important question. Uh, reason being, from, from at least from, from our perspective and my perspective, there's a lot of people who are on the Crypto.com uh, app or on uh, basically using the applications who haven't bought M NFTs. What this also means is that a lot of the current uh, NFT marketing methods are not going to be sufficient to reach out to them. Things like Twitter uh, giveaways, things like Discord um, giveaways, uh, if, maybe sometimes even, even AMAs, for example, reach out to a certain specific group who are already quite invested in the crypto space or the NFT space. So we definitely have to think of other ways to reach out to people out there just to get them interested in minting their first ever NFT. We will have press releases. We we are actually working with one or two uh uh artists. Um we we'll just keep it we'll just keep it at that because the news will be out uh pretty soon. Uh essentially we have things in, in place to reach out to people who are currently thinking of entering the NFT space. Uh, we like I mean since we want to be an educational platform, we have also a, a link on how to how to set up your MetaMask, how to set up your CDC DeFi, how to get started with your first NFTs, things like that. Uh, and, and just an extension, someone asked earlier, I'm not sure you don't get a bit of I'm sorry, but we encourage all new beginners to to join us because we really want to be inclusive from the very start. Uh, it's extremely daunting, especially now when everyone's talking about it, but people don't know what's the right thing to do. Uh, we're not saying we're the best, but we just want to be there to, to help, especially begin, beginners start their journey. And this is why, um, uh, not, not, not giving excuses, but even though there's only about 700 um, uh, Ethereum map maquettes that's uh, being minted, uh, we can safely say that not, not a lot of them are, are for sale, and an even smaller amount of them are for sale at a price lower than the mean price. I think I can I can vouch for our community that everyone's extremely happy to be there. Uh, if, whenever you guys are free, just hop in, talk to them. You you see what we mean. All right. So why don't you guys go ahead and post your Telegram links and you know links to all your communities so we can join in the community and see what's going on. All right, I'm on it. <laughs> Well, thank you guys so much for being here today. This was very informative. Fill out the whitelist, um, maybe post the whitelist link again because it got lost in the <laughs> questions. Sure, I'll follow and, it. and that's a pretty significant discount. So I would go ahead, if you're planning on getting into this project, sign up for the whitelist, get it at the lower cost. Minting starts on Sunday. So yeah, thank you guys for being here. This was fantastic. And um, I encourage everybody to go over to their, their Discord and their communities to continue to ask questions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you for having us. And thanks everyone else for making the time to just come in and listen to Canvas and I go on and on and on and on and on, you know. <laughs> we appreciate it all. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to go ahead and unmute the channel so people can chat normally again. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thanks, guys. <laughs>